Hey bakers, John Knell from Prepy Kitchen here, and today we're making a slow cooker beef chili you're gonna love. It has a couple healthy things in there, some indulgent things, and just tons of flavor. It's also just so easy. It's like set it, forget it, come back home, and enjoy a delicious meal. Let's get started. First off, we're gonna make our spice mixture. I've got one tablespoon of chili powder, and I'm gonna add it into like a medium bowl. One tablespoon of ground cumin, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, Emptying out all my spices right now. Okay, we're using two teaspoons of kosher salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and I don't know about you, you can let me know in the comments, but this was like part of my go-to snack growing up, which was spaghetti, butter, salt, and maybe some cheese, and a ton of garlic powder. Also, the garlic salt was life. Okay, so one generous teaspoon. Now we're using half a teaspoon of allspice, and we're gonna give that a nice little whisk just to get a homogenous mixture. You can feel free to add whatever spices you like. Let me know in the comments if there's one you think that I'm totally missing out on. Set that aside and now let's do a little bit of veggie prep. I have one onion here. This is gonna be probably about two cups. I might need to add a little bit more. We're just going to open it up and give it a good dice. Don't worry about having an ultra uniform dice. We're just breaking it up. This is definite home cooking. Setting my onion aside, that just hit me. Oh my gosh. Tears, tears. Oh my gosh. So delayed. Okay, I'm gonna peel my sweet potato up. Messy, but fast. I had potato peeling duty as a child and I learned some skills. Let's dice this up into small-ish pieces. And watch your fingers. All right, let's measure this up and see how much we've got. That's one cup, two cups, look at that. Well, well, well. Our recipe calls for four cloves of garlic, so I'll be using six. Just give them a good smash and then mince them up. That's a satisfactory mince for me. You can keep going if you want though. All of our ingredients are prepped, so we're gonna set them a little aside and get to adding things into our slow cooker. I'm using my Instant Pot. It has a slow cooker setting, but for the Instant Pot, you can correct me in the comments because I am still learning it. You will be slow cooking for a long time. If you're using an actual slow cooker, it'll be set to high for six to eight hours. There's also a chili setting you can use on the Instant Pot, which will cook it up really quickly, but we'll have to change the sequence a bit if you're doing that. We'll talk about that in a moment. All right, let's make some chili. So we're gonna add in half of our onions right now. There we go. Get your beef and crumble it up on top of the onions. You can make this with ground turkey, by the way, or ground chicken. Just make sure it's the highest fat possible because that's the delicious stuff. Lean ground turkey makes me very sad. <laughs> All right, let's crumble it up. We want nice little pieces, not giant chunks. Crumble, crumble. And right now, you can take some of your spice mixture and just sprinkle a little bit over the beef. We're gonna be sprinkling it in layers and add in the rest of that beef. That's one and a half pounds of ground sirloin. Okay, take another quarter of your spice mixture and sprinkle it over. Now we're gonna add our sweet potato. I'm topping the sweet potato with the remaining onions as well as the garlic. Now I'm gonna add in my chili. I just chopped up one jalapeno. You can use whatever you like. Jalapeno is like, you know, the baby spice, but if you wanna go for, you know, some real hot chilies, that's on you. I'm not taking responsibility for any of the consequences. I'm adding two 14 and a half ounce cans of diced tomatoes. That's about 820 grams all in. <laughs> so slick. <laughs> and two 15 ounce cans of black beans. These have been drained. I don't think you need to rinse them out. I like the bean flavor. In you go. Time for three tablespoons of tomato paste. One, two, and three. We're gonna give this a little bit of a mix before we close it up, don't worry. Four cups of beef broth, in you go. If you don't eat red meat and you're making this with a ground turkey, just use chicken broth. I'm just gonna break up this tomato paste a little bit. Okay, I feel much better about that now. Thank you for indulging me. So time for four cups of chopped kale. This will add in just a little bit of roughage, some greens, I really like that addition to the chili, but if you're not into it and you're anti-veggie, you can skip it. 
Sprinkle in the remaining spice mixture. <laughs> Normally, this is not backwards. This is what's throwing me off. <laughs> all right. I can fix all that in editing later. This is closed up now. If you're using a slow cooker, set it to high, six to eight hours. It'll be a delicious. You might want to give it an occasional stir. If you're using your instant pot, slow cooker setting, it's gonna go for a lot longer, probably like 10 hours or so. So you can do this the night before if you want. If you wanted to make this in your instant pot, here's what you would do. Take the onions, the garlic, and the ground beef and set it to saute brown them up. You might want to do it in like a couple different batches because it's a lot of beef. Then just dump in the rest of your ingredients, then set it to bean chili, pressure cook on high for maybe about 40 minutes. Six to eight hours later in your slow cooker, we have a delicious chili. Let's take a look at it. Well, everything's all cooked up. This smells amazing. And we're gonna garnish it with a little bit of sour cream some scallions and call it dinner. <laughs> that is so much better than any of the chilies I've ever gotten in a restaurant. And I'm not just saying that because it's my recipe on my YouTube channel. <laughs> it's because it's true. That spice blend was really nice. And the kale, it's kind of like collard greens. You know, it's not like a crispy salad, of course. It's just cooked down in there, absorbing the flavors and it's a nice mouthfeel. Trust me on it, don't skip it. It's also healthy for you. So now it's perfectly fine to eat as much as you want. If you like this recipe, you've got to check out my beef stew. It has a drop of brandy in it, a little bit of a French influence, and it is just plain delicious. So full of flavor. If you like my videos, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.